packing for our leave for Portland basically um, because we had kept a big luggage here in Portland for a, probably a year now we got it back plans changed so we're actually not taking her um, and I want to put more stuff into her we're thinking about taking stuff out which we've been utilizing these past couple weeks the clothes from it because honestly we don't have that much good clothes right now we had a lot of winter stuff and we were just like repeating the same two or three pairs of pants and then we have like a couple shorts and like lounge stuff and so now that it's getting warmer and you know like all we do really is walk and work out and do stuff like that or lounge around we need to revamp the whole wardrobe i personally need pants these are my winter ones i got out of the suitcase my other pants have been worn and torn literally holes they're in the trash and so I, I only have one pair of like athletic pants and honestly they're not the comfiest things um and then my biker shorts are also <sighs> i'm gonna keep them but i cannot wear them totally like in public probably because they definitely are ripping in the thigh so bad um so yeah we honestly need a whole revamp of everything um yeah so we're gonna pack this bag up give it to a different friend who was offered to, you know, we have a lot of friends actually here who have offered us to stay over, you know, in a layover situation or even just like keep our luggage, which is super, super nice. Not ideal for me because it's just gonna hang in the back of my head, but the tickets to where we're going are so cheap and like, it doesn't make sense to go up to come back down to where our storage is um, in Vegas when we're going up towards Washington. And then like literally out of Washington, we're heading to a cruise. So we definitely don't have the freedom right now. I mean, cost wise, we probably, money wasn't an issue. You know, we could go up to Washington and then one of us can take a trip, you know, which we have, I've tried to do even just here and it just did not work out. Um, it's just not worth it right now. So yeah, we're going around to the cruise after that sit, and we don't want to be carrying all this stuff. There's no room for it. There's no point in it. We don't need this stuff right now. It's really winter and stuff like people have gifted us that honestly need to go to storage and wait for like a home. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am trying to get down to my one bag situation. It is so hard. I went from a duffel life, one bag to a duffel is not my jam to I really want to get to the backpack game. This has been our second bag, just a small carry-on, but has to be checked because we've been packing like big size lotions and shampoos because we think it's more cost effective. If we buy the bigger one, it'll last us longer and less expensive sometimes. But we've upgraded to the bars and more like natural products. So this is like shampoo bars, shampoo conditioner bars. Um, and just trying to get like this is our toothpaste now smaller condensed we don't have to check our bags for bigger liquids and also it's more sustainable which is great for us so i'm really trying to get back to the one bag one bag i actually if i get into one bag that would be like the main goal but i haven't really gotten down to just a backpack without like a side tote usually we have like two totes or which has been also a problem and now the roller so we're gonna fix it all yeah we're trying laundry's almost done and then we can keep going hey hey all right we're at the train station and we are on our way we're leaving portland it's been what, like a month and some change now? Maybe two? A month and five days. Yeah, a month and some change. And it is 7.30 in the morning, April 27th, and we are out of here. Our train comes in about 20 minutes, and we're gonna head up the, up the coast, basically. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. The train station looks really good, actually. Pretty clean, smells clean, it's great, I love it. We've been here a couple times, but it's been a while, so I don't know when we're gonna come back. Um, we did leave something here, but that's okay. And yeah, we're gonna keep on keeping on.
Also, I'm visiting family probably because we are going to Washington State. So the train ride is really fast. It's only about two and a half hours. And so it'll be quick, easy, and super fun. Uh, and yeah, and I'll be awake. So yeah, we're gonna have a good train ride. I'll show you guys when I get on. like really struggling because we actually don't have a legit camera to record so all of this stuff is filmed up between like my phone and, and my partner's and occasionally he has the GoPro and so I'm like I want to get this shot but I also really needed us to get the tickets because I was holding the tickets so he actually had this clip which is really cool and a couple other clips I didn't know he got so that's what's to come and I'm really excited about it actually because it looks pretty cool so yeah we're just excited to go on the train, so let's go. We're working on his angles, but I'm actually vlogging on my camera, which you see here, for our couple's channel. So if you guys want to check that out, it's our Ventures. Um, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, TikTok, all the above. I'll probably have the link somewhere in the description below. So check that out because it's kind of, you know, just a different perspective, just traveling as a couple versus just like my normal vlog. Moment, I'm wishing I had a mic. We just started moving and we should be there in two and a half hours. I don't get to walk over this one or track. This is the big one. I'm pretty proud of my um, <coughs> tripod scanner now. She's pretty stable. Look at her go. Oh, like this trip is supposed to be really fun. My sister's having a baby, and I'm really excited to be back home. But this is the first time that I'll be home since both my grandmother and my mother have passed, and so it's very bittersweet for me. I'm just like feeling a lot of emotions. I don't know like really what to expect. Um, it was actually 
it's just a lot. It's a lot going on, but we're going to make the most of it. And I'm really excited to meet and just see all my nieces and nephews, too. All right, we're in Tacoma. The Tacoma aroma is legit. I don't miss it a little bit. But there's the Tacoma Dome Station. I didn't even know that, that existed. We always get off at Seattle King. So we did the Tacoma Dome. And, oh yeah, and there's the dinosaurs behind us. <laughs> if you're from Tacoma or Seattle area, you know what I'm talking about. All right. I know. <laughs> So we went on a walk and we actually got a couple grocery items because there's not much here for just like meal meals um, as in like protein stuff and like actual meal right now for dinner. So we went to actually found Safeway is like about an hour and a half walk. Uh, but then I found we farmers market. So it was kind of like an indoor farmers farmers. I don't know if it's co-op. Um, it's really cute. I don't know how to explain it. It's basically a farmer's market though. And they're like seven days or six days a week. Love it. Small vendors, all local. And found some really good finds. So I'm going to show you guys. All right, starting off here, this was my first sample. He actually sampled this cream cheese smoked um, salmon. It was amazing. And he just threw in these Ritz crackers, it was so cute. Um, and then he also gave me a discount on this and just did it by the pound, and it was only a pound, so that was great. This is a smoked salmon, um, super good. I think this was just a black pepper. And then we got <laughs> discounted steaks too, which is great. Um, but only because they were sitting like, they were frozen, um, and they just like, like a day old type thing and then they just freeze it and discount them just to get them out of the window um so this looks super nice they're so nice this is a local butcher and then i found some local produce here some lemon some ginger we got a couple corn ears i think i'm gonna throw them on the grill with these bad boys some a bag of potatoes a couple dollars also the carrots were like a couple dollars a dollar for a green pepper which is crazy but just got a green pepper and then some strawberries that smell as great as they look honestly so good and then i found some local tea i really wanted to um do some fresh teas i love loose tea and so this one is a uh, sunny citrus these ones are more of the ruyos i think is what they're called and so they're decaffeinated they're just really a lot of herbs and fresh fruits dehydrated and they're going to be so good as an ice like tea vibe so i really wanted to do that and that's what we got today